For today's business idea, I wanted to go through a more modern business model that has been taking off recently. Airbnb management businesses have been around for the past seven or eight years, but are only just becoming widespread as people recognize the value in Airbnb rental. So what is an Airbnb management business and how does it work? Well, imagine you're a property owner and you own about five or six properties. You don't want to have to deal with the management side of things, finding new tenants, making sure they don't break anything. You'd much rather just pay someone to do this stuff for you. In the past, you'd go to a property management company who would find long-term tenants to rent your houses. These tenants would pay monthly rent. Recently, landlords have been discovering that they can make much more money renting out their houses on Airbnb at a nightly rate. In Auckland, New Zealand, where I used to live, you could get a private room in a shared house for about $1,000 per month. Tourists, on the other hand, were paying $100 per day for a similar room. Doing some quick maths, landlords could be making $3,000 per month or three times more than they were already making just by renting it out to tourists. Now, obviously some of the rooms might not have got booked, but even if the rooms got booked every third night, you're still making as much as you would be renting it out long term. So this is where Airbnb management companies come in. They'll basically list properties on Airbnb and manage check-ins, check-outs, and whatever else needs to be done so the landlord doesn't have to worry about it. The landlord gets more money for his property and he doesn't have to do any work. Win-win. If you've ever used Airbnb, you'll probably have realized by now that the work Airbnb companies are doing isn't actually that hard. All you really need is some common sense and to know how to use an Airbnb app. You list the place on Airbnb, someone books through the app, and you give them the keys when they arrive, and then you take the keys back and clean the room when they leave. Simple. Some Airbnb management companies at the moment are charging 30% of the rental revenue to do this. Clearly the landlords are willing to pay more than necessary because there isn't enough options for them. This leaves plenty of room for new Airbnb management companies to enter the market. You don't really need to start with a bunch of capital in a small team either. You could easily manage a few Airbnbs by yourself if you're available during the day to check people in. One potential way you could enter the market is by emailing landlords who are renting out their properties to long-term tenants and just let them know how much more you can make them on Airbnb. Obviously, you'd first need to spend a bit of time researching how much Airbnbs go for in your area so you can find the locations that book out often on Airbnb and make a good profit. Once you've got a few landlords on board, you've already pretty much got a full-time business up and running. Let's say you just take 20% of the rental income, so you're already offering a cheaper rate than the market average. If you've got four houses you manage, and they're going for say $130 per night each, or $4,000 per month that is, then that's $3,200 you take home monthly in total. All you're doing is checking guests in and out and cleaning the place between guests. Now obviously this sort of thing has the potential to scale as well. Once you get a few more apartments, you can easily hire a cleaner to take some of the work off your hands. Let's say you pay a cleaner $100 per day to do 10 minutes of cleaning in all your apartments. If you've got eight of these apartments, you'll be getting about $6,400 every month in income. Now, 3,000 of this will go to the cleaner, and you're getting 3,400 for barely doing anything yourself. Now, obviously there will be other expenses like gas and Airbnb fees and so on, but the point is that once you make the model profitable, you can always scale up and get more and more income get more and more cleaners, get more and more houses to manage, you've got a profitable model, you can easily just increase the profits by scaling up. 
There's no reason that you couldn't multiply that revenue by five or 10 times once you've been in the game for a few years and you've perfected your business model. It's just another good practical example of separating out your time from the amount of money you make, just like any good businessman out there. So let me know what you guys think of this idea in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more of these in the coming weeks.